Now, I first saw this film, Hitchcock's, um, Alfred Hitchcock's adaptation of Dial in for Murder, which is based on this stage play by Frederick Knott. I saw it on its first release, and like most people at the time, I saw it in 2D, two dimensions, flat. Because, of course, the, the big 3D craze was 1953. Um, all of Hollywood's first 3D pictures, you know, Born a Devil was the first, of House of Wax, Inferno, uh, Phantom of the Room Morgue, they were all made um, around 53, 54. Uh, but after CinemaScope came along, 3D was dropped. Didn't have to wear the glasses with scope. Now, Hitchcock's film was made in 53, but it was released in 54, and therefore uh, was more widely seen in a flat version, not in 3D. Now, in 1980, the picture was re-released in 3D. And when we saw it then, it was uh, a revelation. What at the time seemed like a really good Hitchcock picture suddenly became, I think, a great one, something I went back to over and over again, even in flat version. Um, I mean, when I saw it in 3D, Hitchcock, it seemed to use the 3D very expressively, and somehow the emotions, uh, it deepened the emotions within this small apartment in Mayfair in London where the action is mostly set. I mean, every chair, every table, all the distances between the people become very charged, uh, and the 3D brings the sort of the inner worlds of the characters within their living space very, very, very close to the audience. Um, when I watch the picture, I wind up sort of feeling my way through the apartment, becoming familiar with it in the way that, you know, I become familiar with the spaces where I live and work. Of course, when I got to do um, Hugo in 3D with Rob. Um, first film I showed to um, the crew uh, was... Uh, uh, a uh, 3D copy of um, Dalian for Murder um, in the synchronized style, in other words, not digital. Um, and they were quite amazed. I was amazed all over again. Um, the picture was a real learning experience. It always is. I was like watching it, um, but particularly in 3D. But for example, in 3D, how do you film a key going into a lock? Close up insert. Or even better, how do you. Um, how do you do the key, show the key being placed under a piece of carpet on a stair? Uh, it sounds simple. It's like insert key in carpet. You know, insert key in lock. It sounds simple, but it isn't. And watching the way Hitchcock does it, it's always a lesson. Not to mention a moment in 3D, which is the only kind of um, uh, outrageously exploitative, exploitative moment in the picture in terms of 3D. Uh, but it's electrifying, and you're about to see that too. So I really do envy you tonight watching that, and I uh, hope you will enjoy the, the newly, uh, beautifully restored version of the 3D masterpiece by the great Alfred Hitchcock.